Tell you what, the snow has been relentless all day. We sure don't see any rain here on the east side of Snohomish County. Step on the way, you can take a look at what some of the roads look like here in the back country. You see this interesting spot. We've got uh, snow's not in any part of this roadway thanks to these trees. But if you look off just to the right of your screen, that's what most of this country, these back roads look like. We're talking compact ice, and these temperatures, they're not budging. The silent sound of falling snow cut short by the sound of crunching snow under tires along Ingram Road, north of Monroe. Oh, I got stuck. I was going around the corner going real slow. It put Cade McAnally's driving skills to the test. The slick road sent his work van off the pavement. I was just coming home, got sent home early from work because of the snow, and was taking it real easy on this road because it was <clears throat> real snowy. And, uh, Got to this corner here and, you know, going one mile an hour, I spun out. Thanks to his uncle and a tow strap, they pulled his van to safety. More annoyed than anything. <laughs> as soon as it happened, I hopped out. There's no damage to the van or the trailer or anything, so it was just like, well, got to get this done. Not too far north. County road crews were seen laying sand down along this grade, and another van got pulled off the shoulder thanks to a buddy with a truck and chains. Without all-wheel drive, getting around has been hard. The assumption is, you know, we're not going to get two feet, I hope, so that uh, hopefully once or twice we'll, we'll keep it relatively clean. Not everybody can wait for county snow plows and sand. Mark Picos and his Kubota make work of his neighbor's private drive along the U.S. road. The tractor's heavy, but his tires slip. It makes this small job take twice as long. Not good coming uphill. You know, I can just barely make it, so uh, I can only plow going downhill. Along Storm Lake Road, the grocery collects snow on its roof and parking lot. Workers have not seen county road crews keep up with the snow. They were pretty good last year with getting the salt out and everything. Yeah. But I don't know. I haven't seen them <laughs> yet. I haven't seen one. I saw one on 522 on my way to work this morning, but that was it. So according to Public Works, those crews have been laying out anti-ice routes through their ice routes, mostly on the west side of Interstate 5. Now over on the east side, we, where we are, out here near Storm Lake, we, we've seen these crews mostly laying down sand. It could be dicey since snow and rain are forecast off and on all the way through Friday. It could be driving a real challenge for the rest of this week. We're live near Storm Lake. Steve Kickens, Fox 13 News.